when it is needed for energy. Glycogen is broken down and converted to glucose in the liver. As muscle cells make like glucose six phosphatase, which is required to pass glucose into the blood, the stored glycogen is available for internal use and is not shared with other cells. Glycogen consists of linear stretches of glucose residues connected by alpha-1-4 bonds with blotches that are attached to alpha-1-6 bonds. Glycogen phosphorylase catalyzes the release of glucose 1-phosphate from the terminal alpha-1-4 glycosidic bound. When glycogen blanch is digested down to four residues away from alpha-1,6 blanch, it's inaccessible to glycogen phosphorylase. At this point, four alpha d glucan transferase is used. It transfers three glucose residues from the four residue glycogen blanch to a nearby branch. However, a single glucose residue through an alpha-1,6 glycosidic linkage remains. Amylo alpha 16 glucosidase cleaves the remaining alpha 16 linkage, producing glucose and linear chain of glycogen. Just make sure. Glycogen phosphorylase uses inorganic HPO42- to split glucose from the polysaccharide chains of glycogen. Glycogen phosphorylase exists in two forms, phosphorylase B and phosphorylase A, with a slight difference in the liver and muscle versions. Phosphorylase kinase catalyzes a phosphorylation of inactive glycogen phosphorylase B, resulting in the formation of active glycogen phosphorylase A. Phosphorylase kinase received signals from hormonal messengers and neuronal stimuli. Glycogenolysis in the liver is controlled partly by hormones. Glucagon and epinephrine bind to a receptor on the liver cell surface and the second messenger is produced within the cell, which activates protein kinase A, glycogen phosphorylase kinase, and glycogen phosphorylase.